Who do we have here? Can you guess? It's our little girl, Saffron. So we actually came to my church, someplace where Saffron has never been before, to demonstrate for you some of the behaviors that we're working on with her. So one of those things is going to be to walk her on a leash. She's already got a collar that we've conditioned her to. And she has walked around for a few days, if I can get a handle on it, with the leash loose on her, where I just let the leash trail her so that it naturally touches parts of her body. There's a piece of cheese. And she gets used and comfortable with the idea that it's nothing to be scared of. So we've already done that. The next step then would be to, to lead her and condition her to not resisting the leash when we, we need to walk in the same direction. Saffron, walk with me. Walk with me, good girl. Good girl, can you sit? Good sit. Good girl. So we'll do that a little more. See if she's got the idea. Saffron, come on, walk with me. Walk with me, good girl. Can you sit? Good girl. I don't know if you caught that, but she hit the end of the leash and she, and so there was resistance there and she didn't instinctively pull away from it. She just looked at me. Good girl, walk with me some more. Walk with me some more. How about if we turn around? How about if we turn around? Good girl, walk with me. Good girl, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's walk some more. Walk, 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 walk with me. And then turn around. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. So this little girl, Saffron, is actually staying with me, I believe, until August for some additional training through our training program that you can learn about on our website. Good job. Good girl. So I'm about to practice the puppy ice cream crawl with Saffron here where I get her distracted and then I call her with, an high, with a high-pitched puppy call and she immediately returns to me. This is useful in case as an older burner she ever gets loose from her owner or her handler is headed towards danger of some kind and you're calling her and she's not coming. She will be conditioned to return no matter what to the high-pitched puppy call as long as you imprint her every day for the first two weeks when she gets home doing this exact same practice and then at least once a week for the rest of her life. Saffron! The cameraman isn't the one to man to. Okay, let's get distracted. Turn her head away. Puppy, 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 puppy! Good job! <laughs> She's practiced this before, so it's safe for me to let her get a little bit of a distraction. Puppy, 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 because she knows what she's coming to. Good job. We'll do it a couple more times. Puppy, 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 puppy. Good job. And one more time. That's what we're looking for. Good job. Good job. Okay, what we're going to demonstrate now with Saffron is placing her on, a, on an elevated platform and settling her. So let's see how this works. Good girl. Good girl. This will come in handy when she's close to 100 pounds and she needs to be examined by a vet. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What I recommend is continuing this desensitization to being on an elevated platform at least once a week. And then when you do need to take her to a veterinarian for an examination that requires her to be on her back, it won't take four vet techs to just hold her down against her will. She will understand, especially if the vet gives you the opportunity to settle her down before they begin their examination. 
it'll go much easier on the staff and it will be much less traumatizing on saffron. Good girl. All right, so what I have in front of me is a snuffle mat. Um, in households, it's used as a bath mat. I actually picked this up really cheap at a yard sale and I, wa I sanitized it in my washing machine. And now I use it as a training device. They also sell pet snuffle mats for a lot more money at practically any pet store. So what I want to do is I want to have something that will entertain her and keep her safe and occupied while I go pour myself a cup of coffee, while I go check the mailbox, while I go to the bathroom by myself. And so um, she's gonna use her nose to sniff out kind of like a puzzle or a scavenger hunt um, the treats that I've pre-hidden on the mat. See how she does. Again, we're at a new place. So she's doing great with that. And then while she's doing that, I'm gonna check her startle reflex by popping open my umbrella. I don't want her to be fearful, as in tuck her tail and run. It's okay for her to startle, but then to recover. We don't want any aggression to show from this. I don't expect any. She startled, and now she's ready to go about her business. That's a perfect response. She's a good girl, and you are going to enjoy her. Okay, now we're gonna load the clicker. I won't be looking for any specific behavior from her. I just want her to hear the click and get a treat and she will associate the hearing of the click with the expectation she's about to get rewarded. Once I know she understands that association, we can start to mark behaviors with the click. And it is a remarkable process. So, I'm going to try and get her distracted, and then I'll click. Again, she doesn't have to do anything for this. It's just to, to associate the click to a treat. She has been conditioned already with the clicker, but we are in a brand new place. That's why I tossed the toy to see if when she was distracted, if she would turn her head. She didn't, so now I know where we're at in this process. At home, she turns her head great. She might be remembering now. See? Remember? We load the clicker, we get a treat. We love the clicker, we get a treat. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> Can you walk with me? Come on, you wanna come over here? She turned her head there. What I did was I placed a treat away from me a little bit. And when she was done enjoying that, I clicked and you saw her head turn. So we are already making good progress. One more time. Here it is. Here. There she did it again. Good job. Good girl. I'm going to enjoy working with her. Yes, I am. Okay. So right now we're going to work on her manding. That's where she sits politely and waits for a pet or a treat. When she was doing what I wanted her to do, I marked the behavior 
with the click. We're gonna do it again. When she looked at me, that's when I clicked. I want to develop that sustained eye contact with her. She'll have this mastered beautifully by the time she goes home. She's a really smart puppy. Uh oh, my bad. Let's see how much duration I can get out of her. One, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Oh, well, you can have that one. Let's do one, one thousand a few more times. One, one thousand. One, one thousand. One, one thousand. One, one thousand. Now let's go to two. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. She knows it's coming. <laughs> we will work all the way up to, before she goes home, she'll be able to look at me for 20 seconds without losing eye contact. This is fun. I'm developing a bond with her. And when she gets home and her new owner and handler establishes this, She'll have a lifelong bond with them, too. Good girl. She's <laughs> such a good girl. Good girl. Finished a little five-minute training session, and she still has quite a bit of energy. So, puppy, 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 look at her go. Puppy, puppy, good girl. Puppy, 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 puppy. Good girl. <coughs> puppy, puppy, look at her go. She is so happy. Puppy, 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 good girl. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. She's a good girl.